Good afternoon and a welcome. So here is the homemade shepherd's hut. You can see it's got wheels on the back so we can move it, but I'll show you that in a minute. I want to show you the surrounding areas first of what, what, what it's sort of set, what location it's in. So this is the uh, freshwater river that you can come fishing with. We've been uh, keeping the grass we cut around the outside here and then we usually leave like the middle all to grow but we've cut it and taken a uh, silage cut off it at the moment so usually it looks like quite wild and nice and you can walk around it and everything so back towards the shepherd's hut here we've got a few willow trees with a steel bench so it doesn't go rotten Obviously, wooden benches go rotten over the years. This bit here would all be usually quite wild, and then you can see where we've cut like a bit. We have a bit there if you want to come stay in a tent or whatever, which is good. So, right, let's go and have a look inside the hole they let. So, some of you might remember the video I did on this um, a few months ago at the start of the season, and I've said it's actually a 40 foot shipping container. So you can see the doors still there. And then it's um, it's got this frame on the back, which is what I showed. And it's just bolted to the eyelets that you use for lifting and uh, steering axle on the back. So this thing is actually sort of near enough classed as a caravan because it's a mobile unit. So to sort of pick it up and move it probably takes about, you get your tractor, put it on the front. I'll show you around there again in a minute. Pick it up plug your two hydraulics in and then the whole thing lifts off the floor and you can move it so all you have to do is disconnect the uh, disconnect this pipe here which is the septic tank pipe which takes seconds unplug the electric unplug the water which probably takes a couple of minutes and then you're you're moving with it so around the back of the holiday let this is the septic tank which is ground based so you don't have to dig it in which is good so look it's just got these two pallet tine holes here so the whole thing you can you suck it out either just there or just over there and then you you can pick the whole thing up and it's about 2,000 litres and so far this season I've sucked it out twice so not too bad at all really here's the water that comes in stop tap there so you, just under there you can just disconnect it and then the same the electric the electric cable just goes around there that's just on a plug that unplugs because fortunately we have water and electric to this field but if you wanted to you could have a water tank around the back here to uh, connect onto that and then the electric it's got actually you can't quite see them but it's got like two solar panels on the roof so it can be completely off grid if needed gas inside it's got a gas boiler so we've just got this changeover valve on here so if we run out of gas we can obviously turn that whichever way but to be fair one bottle has lasted the whole entire time which is pretty amazing to be fair on the front you can see we've got the balls here for the lifting it up with the tractor on that the hydraulic pipe so you can still see it's a container so around here you can see the electric is just on like a plug you plug in and then so what it is the shipping container has been insulated top sides bottom but not at this end and that and um it's battened and then it's uh covered with this um large board so we have some seats outside with a nice little fire pit that you can have a little fire at night and then it has a little grill that goes in there as well and turns into a barbecue the thing we probably will change this year are these pallets have something nicer outside that you can step onto so since my last video we have a key safe on the wall and we have we've decorated it all decorated it and painted it so this here the log burner we've had it um we've had it swept out at the beginning of the season breakfast bar with seats radio so the boiler the boiler just works when you turn the tap on so it's never on all the time which is good so if i turn that on You'll see it will start. Oh, sorry, I'll turn the cold on. Oh no, just started. Started to work. 
So that's why it's so efficient, which is really good. So we've got a fridge, bin. All these are full of like bits and bobs you need, first aid kits, anything like that. Toilet, the next thing we're gonna do, so the idea is, this is like a seasonal thing. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna lift this whole thing up and take it away for the winter because it's at the end of the season now and we're gonna store it in the grain store till next year. And then we're gonna move it somewhere around, somewhere else into a different field to give people a bit more of a better experience or people who wanna come again, it, you know, just splits things up a bit. The shower, we're gonna change this this vinyl floor, because it's it wouldn't say it's got a bit dirty, but it would look a bit nicer if it's uh, nice and fresh. Good thing about this is it's got a really big shower. Usually in like a normal shepherd's hut, it's like a little tiny thing, whereas this is, you know, it's absolutely massive. This is a uh, sofa bed that pulls out. So if you've got kids staying, you can pull it back and it turns into a bed. These sliding doors, they're still the same. Obviously a bit of space saving. So we haven't got an opening door. A few more bits. Got a nice view out to the field from your bedroom when you wake up in the morning. Electric comes in down there. And that's where the solar panels inverter is in there as well. Lights. Lovely view, look. So there we have a bit of a insight into the uh, 40 foot shipping container, shepherd's hut, whatever you want to call it. So when we come to move it, we'll just take that bit of chimney off and then we're going to uh, hook it up and take it, give it a good clean and get it, get it ready for the next season. I hope this video helps a few people who are looking into doing something like this. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments and I'll, um, I'll answer them as best I can. So, um, yeah, see you in the next video.